What's up, y'all? Got another banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. What if I told you marriage was never meant to last? I'm an Ivy League grad, a degree in the history of women. That's all I needed to know. An Ivy League grad, it's it's a it's a wrap. Family structure. We don't care. I would love to talk about this because I know a lot about marriage that people do not. My last year, I actually spent primarily studying Western marriage. That we in the Stupid. US and Western countries. Practice. Who goes to school to study marriage? Like what? What are we doing here in the West? Things I learned in my classes were so surprising to share five misconceptions about marriage. That number one is the belief that marriage Number one, is don't marry women like you. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> what is it going to be? Enlighten me. It's not for life. Oh. This marriage was created with divorce in it. Divorce oh. is a big point of it in general. This is why you shouldn't get married. Wow. She said it herself. They marry you just to divorce you. Keep wow. in mind, women are financially rewarded by the government when they divorce their husbands, Facts. so they have nothing to lose from doing so. So I have a very business approach when it comes to dating men. When I'm unsure whether I should go on a date with a guy, there are two components of the equation that help me determine whether he's worth my time. The first part worth of Worth your time, honey, the, the clock is ticking. What are you talking about? Why do these women think all their time is just so valuable? Uh, us as men, our time is valuable too. Boo boo, you're talking into a blue microphone. Those are $60 at Best Buy. Shots fired! Shots fired! We're talking about your time being so valuable. All of our time is valuable. Equation is to calculate what is my hourly rate. What? Is to calculate what is my hourly rate. What do you mean by that? Yeah, on the streets. What's your hourly rate? 60 bucks for a beach? <laughs> Just got a surgery to be a virgin again. Stop. How many bodies did you have before? 42. For someone in the industry, 42 is a very low number. Yeah. On cam doesn't count. So how many? 15. But now I have been more cute. Sorry. Wait, 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 what? Stupid. These women think that you can have surgery to reverse the running that's been done in your dungeon? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. You're still ran. It's your bubble, but a surgery won't undo the emotional trauma and baggage. That's what I'm saying. The thing is, you might get surgery and, and get it snatched up and, and your kuka might be tighter than airport security now. But at the end of the day, you've still been ran. You still had miles and miles of pinup in there. 42? It's a wrap, honey. It's a wrap. That's a, that's a very high number. Over 40 partners. You're the good man. Where are they? I keep seeing that video. They're hiding. All of your videos. Uh, you They're know. hiding from women like you. We hide from you women. We see you and we're like, ooh, it's like the poisonous frogs in the Amazon. We see the colors. We see the crazy hair. We see the, the piercings and we're like, eh, we're just going to stay away. But, you know, this is this is modern woman uh, psychology 101. 101. Like, I, I feel like the first day of class when you get into modern woman psychology is like, all right, everybody get your phones out and we are going to learn how to bitch on TikTok. Okay. Once you learn how to do that, then we'll start doing makeup tutorials. <laughs> Don't you think it's a little like that they all have the same blueprint. They all have the same exact blueprint. They cry and then it's the makeup. And then it's, you know what gets me? It's the crying with no tears. How in the hell do you cry and have no tears? Bro, doesn't make any sense. I'm screaming and saying how much you hate men and your icks because I don't know they breathe. Uh, they just decided they're gonna be hiding for a while. They're done. They're taking a vacation from women. They're probably at home. If they're not at work, they're at home. And they're just watching TikToks of women horrified, being very, very happy that they made their choice to just be single and choose peace over crazy toxicity. Oh, and where are the good women? They, they're Do you believe that <laughs> all these women crying online, they're happy that they're single? <laughs> Bro, tell those lies to somebody who's not so stupid. Come on. Yeah. There, there at home, looking like this. I have a genuine question for Love you, it. and I want you to think really hard before you answer it. You're 42, but you try to look 24. What makes you think that I was aiming to turn you on with it? Meanwhile... Women, please, please, please listen to she 7 and older women. We are all waking up to the games that men play on us. We're waking up in massive numbers right now, whether you're married or dating. If you listen now, y'all need to go back to sleep. Shots fired! Shots fired! We're waking up, honey. With the, got the umbrellas trying to talk some sense into me. No thanks. To older women and Shira Seven. If you listen to older single women, 
you will end up old and single. Yeah. Just like well, that. Well, dude, single women keep women single. Misery loves company. Why, why, would, why would these older women be like, you know what? You need to go out there and get you a man. No, they want you to be alone and sad too. Invest in cat food. Invest in cat food. I heard PetSmart stocks are rising. <laughs> we will tell you the truth. We will tell you what's really going on. You have to realize something that men are programmed to want access to a woman's body. And that's mostly what they're after. You no longer offer uh, people. Uh, duh. That's, isn't that biology like 101? How do you make a person? Well, um, little buddy, um, a man and a woman love each other. And then, you know, like that's what we're here for. Biologically, instinctually, we're here to procreate. Duh, that's what we want? Like, what are you even talking about? Seventh graders know this stuff. Peace, Ridiculous. purity, or loyalty. So it's no surprise that box is the main thing men want you for, since you don't offer anything else we want. Facts. So please don't throw your whole life away for nonsense fairy tales when it's just an activity that men want to do with you. And men want to do that, and they'll waste a lot of your time to make sure that they get that because they get a lot of enjoyment out of Tell it. Tell me you've been ran without telling me you've been ran. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I love it. They're like, men will go out there and they will, you know, they will do this to you and then they will raise you. Just tell us that you've been ran. It's okay. Tell us that a lot of men have burnt you. It's okay. Own up. Be honorable about it. And oddly enough, we don't. Most of the time. So make sure that they're investing in you, literally putting cash in your hands, literally paying your bills before you ever sleep with them. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh Stupid. even harder. <laughs> it amazes me how bad their advice is. What? She's telling young women to only sleep with men. Pay your bills for a used vehicle? Why would I pay your bills? You got... You got all that mileage on. You've been ran like the Boston Marathon. What are you even talking about? Are you a virgin? Don't worry. I'll wait. Stupid. No. Then you don't deserve it. You don't deserve these Lambo prices. You're a used Kia. 99 Kia. You know what I'm saying? Who give them money, which is not only illegal in all states, but will lead to them being well, old. Money in hand. What are you, a prostitute? If you're a prostitute, just say that. Just say it. it like, just own up to it and single, just like the person they're getting advice from. Good advice to young women would be to not sleep with random men, but for some reason, you never see them giving that advice. But you do see them telling women to use and manipulate men to get as much money out of them as possible, mm -hmm. including marrying a man just to divorce him. I know you want to kiss me. Dude, there's so many. Look, look at all these women. Thing is, these women are straight going on world tours. Drew Arfalarfalo, whatever. She looks like something from um, freaking Fraggle Rock. Like these women are straight up going on a spree hating on men. It's beautiful. It's beautiful that they get to spread this message. Because we're going to be doing the same exact thing over here, boys. Equality. Equal rights, equal lefts. We're going to keep preaching the gospel. You know what I'm saying? And bringing awareness to this stuff. Because these women are so comfortable bashing men. So, hey. We're equal, right? Bring back shame. Bring back shame. Hashtag it. Bring back shame. They can't force you to do anything. And it's very easy to spot the types of women who want to use you for money. You didn't tell mom and dad you're doing... Someone else beat me to it. This friend I used to have pulled up to my mom's house with her mom. They went on the website, paid for the video and everything, showed my mom. And then my mom was super supportive because my mom's the crazy lady on the block. She went on top of the car, spread her legs and was like, what, what, don't you like it? What? My mom's the crazy lady on the block. She went on top of the car, spread her legs and was like, what, what, don't you like it? What is one thing that you've never told your ex? That I his dad and his brother and his cousin she was on the the whole family uh, what happened um they just wanted to f me so i thought it was hot and i like cheating on him so I him. this is a mistake i see a lot of girls <gasps> i'm speechless i don't even know what to say she bucked the whole family tree like a cousin's gonna get it the dad his brother everybody got a ride Goodness gracious, she's the family bicycle. Everybody gets a ride. Is, is it? Was this for real? She had to be trolling. Oh my god. Bucked him and his whole family? 
poor guy. But that's the stuff that modern men have to go through. Good Lord. I feel, no, oh my, I, I don't even know what to say. Always make. There's a difference between playing games and playing hard to get versus having standards and oh, actually God. being hard to get. Don't Stupid. play hard to get. Be hard to get. You're hard to want, not to get. <laughs> I'd rather be single than date a broke man. Hear me out. Whoa. I'd rather be single than date a big back Betty. We're going to keep it a buck, honey. You're big backed. Looking ass. Why would we want to be with you? Can't even pick you up. Dude, if you can't even pick a girl up, that's one of the things. Like, I want to be able to pick you up on our wedding night or something. Like, if I pick you up. Bro, if you can't even pick a girl up, good God. These women are built like linebackers. Could hit the A-gap like a mug. The Cowboys are calling. We need a new defensive end. Looking ass. My goodness gracious. Looks like one of the fish from SpongeBob. <sighs> Talking about broke men. <sighs> the best thing you could get is a broke man. As a single woman, when I go out, Shocker. I get free Lies! I go to a bar, someone's buying me a drink. I go anywhere, guys are like wanting to spend money on me. Every day, more lies. If I was with a broke man, I would literally have to turn down those advances by other men. Why don't you show us these rich men tripping over themselves? I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. They're single, but yet they have men lined up. Like a concert venue, just ready to spend money on them. They'll complain about it, but then by like, but men are out there wanting me. It's like, have you ever heard of an oxymoron? Like, <laughs> you're the smartest dumb person. That's what you sound like right now. <laughs> to buy you free things. I'm banned from live. <laughs> Good Lord. You can't make this stuff up though. You really can't make this stuff up. And I heard I heard Vivica Fox came out with something recently where she's like 60 freaking years old. Face ballooned up all crazy. But yet she still thinks that she's in the running to have a boyfriend and have a husband. Vivica, you didn't want us when you were fine. We don't want you now that you're old. It's a wrap for you. It's absolutely done. And as these women get older, they think that men want them. No, we wanted you when you were useful. You were feminine. You were beautiful. You were inspirational. You were a lot younger. That's when we wanted you. But you didn't want us. So don't expect us now to want your old ass. Because here's the thing. Back in my day, a woman had a cookbook. And she knew how to take care of a man. She knew when a man was having a bad day and knew how to inspire this man. Nowadays, women don't know how to do that. They don't have a cookbook. They can barely clean. They're dirty as hell. They have a bunch of earrings and their cars are filthy. That's another thing, bro. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Have you ever been in a girl's car and it's absolutely filthy? Like McDonald's bags, McDonald's cups, backpack. It smells like a dirty locker room in there. It smells like somebody's foot has gangrene in her car. And you're like, ugh, brother, ugh. Like, what is that smell? What is that? And they're like, sorry, just, just scoot that stuff over a little bit and it'll be fine. Like, What? Your car is dirty as hell. Stupid. I want to get up in here. Where's your hygiene at? Women are supposed to be hygienic. Men are supposed to be filthy. We, we're the ones out there doing the dirty jobs. What is it? Mike Rowe used to have that show. Dirty jobs with Mike Rowe. You remember that show? That's what blows me away, though. And see, that was always a big red flag for me. When I would get in a girl's car and it was absolutely filthy. I would be like, not dating you. Here's some other ones like cigarette smoker. Eh, absolutely not. Girls that did a lot of drugs. Absolutely not. Girls that go and fly out to other countries to meet guys, absolutely not. And they're like, well, why don't you want to date me? And you're like, are you ki Are you stupid? Stupid. You're ran. Stupid. You're, you're absolutely ran. Why would I want to date you? So I can be next on the chopping block? Absolutely not, man. This is why you fellas need to go to church. You need to meet you some nice women. And, and if, if anything, stop trying to take these women serious. Play the game just like they're playing the game. Go out there and be the absolute best version of yourself. Be in good shape. Make good money. Save your money. Have nice things. Because the thing is, it, it, here's some other uh, some, some other things. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to this. But like, if you chase money, money runs. If you make money, you attract it, right? Same thing with women. If you chase women, they run. But if you make money, women will be attracted to you. And then you can have pick of the litter. You can have that one on Monday. You can have that one on Tuesday. You can have freaking, you know what I mean? You can have Baskin Robbins, 31 different flavors of women. You can do whatever you want. But if you don't have money, you don't have resources, it's pretty tough. And, and it really, as a man, it really doesn't even matter what you look like. 
But you, you have to know, you attract what you are. So if you only have money, you're only going to attract women that want money. If you're good looking, you'll probably attract women that are good looking. But, and if you have, now if you have it all, you might get a mix of both. But that's why I always say you got to vet these women. Like back in the day, my grandfather, back in my grandfather's day, he met my grandmother when she was 13 and he was 16. They married when they were 19 and they were 16. You don't see this stuff anymore. Honestly, nowadays, what do you guys think? Let me know in the chat or the comments. If a 19-year-old dude was dating a 16-year-old, you'd think that's a little weird, right? You'd be like, uh. It's giving, it's giving a little bit of, you know, questionable vibes. But back in, the, back in those days, it was fine. They got married. They had kids when they were like 23 and 21 or 20, 23 and 20. And they had a beautiful family, big, beautiful family. Do you guys remember family reunions? Oh, my God. Like being able to go and... You know, you got your grandmother there, your grandfather, and then all their kids, and then their kids' as kids, and then you got all your cousins and stuff like that. You just don't see that stuff anymore. You don't see kids playing in the street anymore. Like, the nuclear family has been blown to bits. Blown to absolute bits. You just don't see that stuff, and it's so sad. It's so sad, because in my day, well, I was also poor, but in my day, every day we were outside. Rain or shine, we were outside playing every single day. Now you don't see that. Kids are addicted to iPads, so they're socially awkward. They don't know how to go out and approach people. Like, it's such a different time now. And like, I, I don't know about you guys, but once my, once my grandmother and grandfather passed away, RIP, no more family reunions. We don't do them anymore. They were like the glue to the family. And you know what's beautiful? Is that like, what, what an accomplishment for a woman when she can have a big family and say, all of these children came from me. All of these children came from me. So you're going to look back in your golden years, all these single women, all these modern women, and I, I can do it myself. I don't need a man. Me, 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 me. Stupid. They're going to look back and they're going to go, wow, I created zero legacy. I have no children. I have nobody to share this with. In your golden years, it gets really lonely. It gets very lonely, especially if you don't have a partner. Like imagine being a 65-year-old woman right now living alone. You work your job. Then you go home to your cats. That has to be devastating. Depression times a thousand. Like, wow, that would be so sad. But a man, a man can go work. He can retire when he's 65, something like that, 70. I don't even know what the age is. It's going to be 98 by the time I get to retire. Anyways, they get to retire and they can go home to like their dog. They can go home and they love it. Like men don't, sometimes men don't thrive off of having a lot of people around them. Usually men are very social creatures. Men are more interested in things. Women are more interested in people, which is why they're in more of the social jobs they do nursing teaching social work dominated by women but stem science technology engineering math dominated by men because we are more into things and women are more into people right so it's just crazy to me you're gonna these women are gonna be looking back 50 years from now and going wow all my other friends created this beautiful legacy they have a big beautiful family and i have five cats <laughs> and my house smells like cat shit <laughs> And cat piss. You ever smell cat piss? It smells. It smells so bad, dude. Even and, and this is why I don't like cats. I mean, cats are cool. Cats are kind of dicks. But because you, you have to let a cat shit in the house, and so you just have, you have like an open just sand and it's poo, and you got to clean it out. I'm like, God, I'd just much rather have a dog. Dogs love you unconditionally. I was traveling this past week. I just got back. Um, and as soon as I got home, cats gave me a big hug. Fucking felt great. And then my dog comes up to me. He's just loving on me so hard. Like that, that's, that's that shit I love. I love having a family though. It's my thing. Appreciate you guys. We just hit 17 K man. The growth has been absolutely crazy. I was on a, I was on a trip this last week. So all these uploads I had to upload, like, um, like I recorded, I pre-recorded them. So I haven't been able to like shout you guys out of the growth that's been happening, but dude, 17,000 subs. This is absolutely insane. We've had 5 million views on the videos. Wow. We've had 1.3 million views in a month. This is insane. I really do appreciate you guys. The growth has been absolutely mad. More to come. Make sure you join the Discord. Shout out to Nitro for running the Discord. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, today's video. Sorry, I'm a little off. I haven't you know I haven't been here in a while. It's been weird for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.